Hey everyone, come with me to Big W. They have their massive toy sale. So we headed in store to have a look at all the goodies that are here. Of course, they have three or four aisles of all the big, big name stuff, which is where we spent a lot of our time having a look around. And then we went to the back section, which has all the toys. So of course, first up in the middle aisle, they have their little character things here. So they've got Bluey and they've got a whole lot of Frozen stuff and so you can have a look at all the different things here. I don't have young children anymore so and we have no streaming services in the house so to see that this is based off of their Netflix show um, I guess I wasn't surprised but good to see I guess they're branching out it's the same with the TV shows like Bluey and all the other characters and things that they have so I just filmed everything that was in store because I figured someone might be interested in checking it out of course there is an entire aisle dedicated to Barbie and all of the things that are here Barbie is so iconic and especially with the movie that's coming out now it's going to be super popular I think so Barbie stands the test of time so of course all the things that are here boats and dream houses and camper vans and Ken's down here eventually and lots of Barbies so have a look I had this Barbie playing head when I was younger. I can't believe it's still around, but I guess something as iconic has truly stood the test of times. I think these are the little containers that you put hot water in for it to reveal whatever Barbie that you do have. So it would be so frustrating though if you kept getting doubles and things like that because I think once you reveal what it is, you can't like unreveal it if that makes sense. Um, this is a Barbie, you can be anything and apparently all you can be is a teacher, a doctor or a pediatrician and whatever else this is because there was only three of them <laughs> good to see an inclusion barbie here with the wheelchair that was pretty awesome and of course these no doubt are based on the movie
think that this is Zumba Barbie. <laughs> That's the Barbie for me, not the meditating one. No way, I could never be that still. Look at all the squishies and the plush toys. There are so many and there was a whole nother aisle as well. There were just so many people in and out. So it was really hard to film everything into what I think is like the imaginative play type thing is a whole lot of more stuff with little kitchen setups and teas and foods and shops and trolleys and many, many bits and pieces. onto the best aisle of them all and it is lego and i am so lucky there is no one in this aisle as i'm recording and you can see all the squishies that were at the end so we start with duplo this is such an awesome thing to give beginner builders and i noticed now that they're really starting to get creative with their colors and so it really gives people a chance to use their imagination and to be able to build things lego creator is an awesome one as well because because it's often a three in one so you make one thing and then you can pull it apart and make a separate one and the book gives you very detailed step-by-step -step instructions which is awesome lego city is another brand which is so cool because they have little cars and trucks and bikes and little bits that you can add they're usually around ten dollars and they're just such a great little gift to be able to give to someone Here are some mini Squishmallows. Apparently these are super popular. Um, I have no idea if they're based off of something like a TV cartoon character or anything like that. Um, but there were so many of them. So I just had a look at this shelf and then moved on. <gasps> Here is my daughter's favorite thing, Grogu or Baby Yoda. And then we moved around to the back section of the toys. And of course there is the popular things all at the front facings. So the LOL dolls in the ranges, the big ones, and then the little collectible things. We have also the Disney range. So for a hundred years, they have different characters and different things that are here on the shelf.
these little magic mixies are so popular especially with the big kids on tiktok uh, a lot of people get them and then they record themselves pouring in all the potions and mixing it up and then poof out comes this fluffy toy <laughs> I'm noticing in store that there's so many things that are all wrapped up so you don't know what they are so it's not until you get it home and unwrap it that you kind of reveal what it is so and it must drive parents absolutely crazy trying to get things and make sure they don't have doubles and stuff like that. In the back toy section that we're at um, they've got a whole range more of legos you see disney i'm surprised this wasn't in the front section but of course yes there's a good variety that's here and more lego in marvel following the movies there were so many board games in the back wall but i just filmed the monopoly section of course there's so many varieties that you can get now and then of course this is a whole star wars collection so we had a good look at everything I gather that Rainbow High and Monster High are based on TV shows. Uh, my children are older, so we don't watch them now, but I do remember back in the day it was Barbie and it was Bratz. So I guess this is the new generation of TV shows. Into the gaming section now, and of course they had so many games on sale, as well as a whole lot of the controllers and the actual gaming consoles. So let me know if you head into the toy sale and if you get anything and what are your favorite purchases thank you so much for joining with me today i so appreciate your time and i look forward to seeing you next time bye